Well then, it's been a while, hasn't it? And I guess I've got some explaining to do. I haven't posted in nearly a month and I've got a few reasons why. I'd say the first reason is literally because FIFA is dead, like it's woeful. Uh, the only thing I've enjoyed this year is career mode, not even pro clubs. And obviously, if you're a long time subscriber, you would know pro clubs. They used to be my thing. I used to post pro clubs on YouTube and then I changed to career mode and that's when I started to get in subscribers and views. That's obviously why we do career mode. And we do enjoy career mode, obviously. So that's one reason. The second reason is, well, it kind of ties into the first reason, Fortnite. As you know, the old map came back. I wanted to play that with my mates as much as I wanted to play um, play. I wanted to make a video, make videos for use, but I couldn't let it slide. I needed to play that old map before it went, and I got to do that. And obviously, I'm happy about that. And now they've brought out Lego Fortnite, which is sick, and GTA as well. But it's not like I haven't been making content. If you follow me on Twitch, then you'll know I've been streaming a lot. I do actually stream a lot now, so I'm going to put the link in my bio. I stream on TikTok as well, so I'll put that link in my bio as well when I post clips from the stream. But I don't, we don't. I do it with my mates, or one of my mates, and we don't stream FIFA, so obviously if you're not interested, we mostly stream GTA and Fortnite, because I think it's more it's more fun than FIFA, let's be honest. You, The only good thing on FIFA for multiplayer is pro clubs, and it's not even that good this year, or it's not as good as it used to be. So yeah, that's another reason why. And the third reason is literally college, man. I've had an assignment due, I've had a project due, I had to do it, so I didn't really have time. But you know what, we're back now, we're going to be posting episode 3 of the Messi Journeyman career mode. And obviously, we are in the Premier League. I think this could be, I don't think we'll get another episode out before Christmas, but we can try. Because literally, I break up three days before Christmas, so yeah, that is long. But you know what, we'll try. We've got episode 3 today, and I hope you enjoy it. As you know, we're in the Premier League and I've brought in two very big names on loan, which I didn't get the signing of, but I can show you them in the team. Carney Chukwameka, he's back at Sunderland and Ica Bravo, the former Barcelona man. I think that's a very good signing. We'd also go on to sign Nathan Ake. We didn't have too much money to spend, but we had enough to get some a few players, some decent players. We've brought in Ake, good Premier League experience. I'm thinking of now. I don't want to be thinking about youngsters that are going to help us in like four years, three years time. I want to think of the, the present now because obviously we've got Europa League and we're going to be in the relegation battle most likely because we've just came up. I mean, actually, the Sunderland team's pretty good in this save, so we could uh, maybe mid-table or even push in the top 10. You never know. But obviously staying up is going to be the aim. I don't know about Europa League. We'll have to have a think about that. But Nathan Ake is our third signing. And he'd come in from Fulham for about 25 mil. It's a pretty good signing. Pretty good fee if you ask me for him because he's a decent player. We got a B for it, so not complaining. Sunderland fans, we did try and bring Ahmed Diallo back, but it weren't possible. Too expensive. But it would already be time for our first game in the season, but not in the Premier League. The Community Shield, obviously, we won the FA Cup last year. We beat Arsenal in the final, actually. They must have won the Premier as well, so we've got them. And there we go, 1 0 up. Nicolo Barella just rolling it into the bottom corner to make it 1 0 to them. 15 minutes in, Arsenal take the lead against us. And then, literally, four minutes later, scrambling all over the box, we've gave it straight to Larson. Well, we didn't give it straight to him, but he managed to get it somehow, even though he was on the floor. And he scores to make it 2-0. And it wasn't looking good for us. We would get a chance though. Yeboah would somehow not score from there. I would bet my house on that man to score from there. But he put it wide. Jack Clark on the ball now. Into Carney Chukwameka who finds Yeboah. Yeboah squares it to a two sheet. And he scores to make it 2-1. Four minutes before half time. Come on. A Chuchi again. Gets the shot off. Uh, pretty easy save for Ramsdale to be fair. I'm not going to lie. Messi with the blonde, you know, come on. A Chuchi squares it to Yeboah. Ramsdale makes the save. And we have lost the Community Shield final to Arsenal. I mean, it is kind of like pre-season, but still annoying. And we have signed Ezekiel Zabelos. 33 mil from Inter Milan. We had to replace Roberts. 71 rated. He's getting on a bit now. So we bring in the Argentinian right winger, just like Messi was. I think he's left-footed as well, but I know he's a baller on career mode, so hopefully... He works some magic for us. And on his debut against Leicester City, he's driving down that right-hand side. He gets a shot off and he beats the keeper at the far post. The keeper basically dived the complete wrong way. But we ain't complaining. What a finish from Zabelos on his debut to make it 1-0. 
This guy is going to be special. I can already tell. Pembele on the ball now. I've never seen him this high up, but he squared it. And your bow will score to make it 2-0 against our championship rivals last season, Leicester City. They're, I think they were the league, didn't they? And we were challenging Mavidi for top goal scorer with Yeboah. Come on, huge W. A Chuchi on the ball, gets a shaft outside of the boot. Lovely little finish that is to make it 3-0 against Leicester City at the King Power. What a win. Welcome to the Premier League, they said. Playing Manchester City, second game of the season. At the Stadium of Light, can we cause an upset? Can we show the rest of the league that this place is a fortress? Haaland on the ball here for Manchester City. Finds Oscar Bob at the back post. He takes a touch and gets a shot off and somehow has... I don't know how that ball stayed out, but I'm not complaining. They've got a corner. Tommy Doyle to take it. Whips one in. Finds Haaland's head and he scored. I don't know what the keeper's doing that far out. I definitely did not bring him out. Man City make it 1-0. And they'd have a chance here with Haaland who hits the bar. Come on, we win that rebound. Foden wins it. We've actually just let Phil Foden score that. That is woeful defending from us. And to make matters worse, we lost 5-1. Next up will be Leeds and Yeboah would break the deadlock 20 minutes in. A lovely finish in that top far corner to make it 1-0. What a goal that is from him. Doing his iconic celebration that he always does, sipping the tea. And we'd have a chance to make it 2-0. But Jack Clark, I've red-timed it and he's going to sky it. That is woeful. Leeds would get a penalty as well. Eze stepping up, but Patterson would save it and we get all three points at the stadium alike. These are the teams that we need to beat and so far we're doing it. Obviously, we won the Carabao Cup last year, so we are in the Europa League and we've got Valencia, definitely the toughest team in our group. And the first match day of the Europa League, we've got them away in sunny Spain. Can we do the job, get the three points? We'll have to see. Jack Clark on the ball into Yeboa. Yeboah gets a shot off, and that's a decent save from the keeper. I don't think he needed to exaggerate that much, though. Clark working a bit of magic. Cuts it back. Zabelos gets a shot off, but he gets blocked. What a goal that would have been. Yeboah now with a chance. Surely he scores. That was the most tame shot I've ever seen in my life. But you know what? Eight minutes to go. We go 1-0 up. Yeboah does it once again. This time in Europe. He's gone from championship to Europe. What a man. And we get our first three points in the group stage. That is absolutely huge. Next up, Derby against Newcastle, against the team we need to beat them. Jacob Murphy tries one from outside the box, but that was never going to happen. And Yeboah would find Zabelos. What a ball that is. He's managed to stay onside, beat the offside trap. All he needs to do is finish it, and he does finish it to make it 1-0. What a goal. He'd have another chance, but somehow he never scored, which is very annoying. And then Newcastle would go on to get a goal. Harvey Barnes crossing one to the back post to find Jacob Murphy, who I thought was offside, but apparently wasn't. And we get a point here at the stadium. I mean, it's not bad considering they are a Champions League side at the moment. Well, not in real life. They literally got knocked out yesterday. But it's not a bad result for the career mode. Obviously, we wanted to beat them though. Okay, so we're midway through the season. And we're sitting in 13th, halfway through. It's not too bad to be fair. 22 points. We're only 5 points off 8. 6 points off 7, which is European football. So it's not too bad. And just look at that top foot or top 5. Forest, Everton and Leeds in the top 5. I didn't expect that, but I don't mind it. We love to see it. Top the group unbeaten, so we won't have to play in the preliminary round, which is good because look at some of the teams. Man United are there, Man City are there, Madrid are there, Barca are there, Marseille even, Monaco. Some tough teams, so we're lucky not to be there. We didn't have the budget to do anything in January, so we've gone straight back into the games and we've got Man United. Chukwameka missed a chance early on, but that wouldn't matter because Jack Clark would work some magic, driving through the defence and would just slot it into that far corner to make it 1-0. We don't need any signings when we've got Jack Clark, do we? Let's be honest. A Achuche on the ball, into Yeboah. Can Yeboah make it 2? Yeboah rifles it into the front post to make it 2-0 to Sunderland at the Stadium of Light against Manchester United. Come on. What a player this guy is, by the way. And Achuchi as well in Cam. He's been a baller. Connie Chukwameka driving down on goal here. Into Achuchi. Goes for the shot. Onana makes the save. Elise, the centre-back, gets a shot off. And that's a decent save from Onana. It was a good shot as well. Man United now. Was that... Hold on a minute. Mason Greenwood is playing against us. We've got a win. I didn't know United brought this guy back in career modes. Every save I've done, I've never actually seen him play for them. Wow. And Mason Greenwood would get the assist for Man United's goal as well. Can't be having that. So Pembele turned into Prime Messi for a moment. Nearly scored. Imagine that. It would have been such a good goal. But Chukwameka squares it to Achushi to seal all three points. 3-1 at home against Man United. Bash. 
Eric Ten Hag, you're washed, mate. Actually, probably more the players than Ten Hag in real life at this point. I'm not going to lie. Especially the stuff we've heard about the backroom stuff. I don't know why I'm yapping about United. But just let me know in the comments what you think of that situation. But now it's time for the Europa League second leg against... I don't, I don't even know what this team is. I'm not going to lie. But we beat them 2-1 in the first leg. And we already won the up here. With Yaboa scoring to make it 1-0 at the stadium. Alive. This guy is a goal machine. He loves it. And go on to get a second on his right foot this time. To make it 2 Four one in aggregate. We are definitely going through to the next round. Now it's time for the next round against Sporting. And I'm not going to lie. It is not looking good, bruv. Wait till you see. 3 0 down on aggregate. We've got some work to do. Because that was a poor first leg. And we went 1 0 down six minutes in. It's not ideal. We need to score four goals now. And I honestly, I don't know if it's going to happen. But a bit of magic from Jack Clark to make it 1 0. We've still got the second half to go. Well, we've got less than a second half to go. We've got. I don't even know how long. 43 minutes, something like that. 42 minutes. And we get a second. A Chuchi would score. And we've got 15 minutes left to score two goals. Can we do it? Who knows? Robert off the bench. He's absolutely knackered. He gets his shot off and he hits the post. On our Europa League journey comes to an end in the quarterfinals. It's sad, but I'm happy with the progress we made. I didn't expect us to do that well. I didn't expect us to go and beat him in the group. But yeah, Porto. Or Lisbon even schooled us. And I mean, look at the teams left. I don't think we would have had a chance. Final game of the Premier League season now against Tottenham at home. Let's give the home fans a show. Come on. Tottenham with the free kick. Milinkovic Savic back in Europe. But it's a good save from our keeper. Yebo would get a chance and he smacked it off the crossbar. And it ends in a draw. A point each. It's not too bad. Not the best way to end the season. I mean, we didn't get relegated. We didn't get Europe. We finished mid-table, which is kind of where I expected. 13th, 45 points. I mean, it's not too bad, to be fair, but it could have been better, let's be honest. Yeboa scoring 23 goals, though, is huge. Zabayos scoring 14. Achuchi getting 10. Clark getting 9. Chukomeka getting 8. It's some good stats, and the assists as well look good, to be fair. Hold on a minute, what's that? Oh, my God. Messi has been offered the Barcelona manager role. Sure, we've got to accept it. We've got to accept it. We can't... Ah, oh, it's going to be sad leaving Sunderland, but we can't deny it. I've got to accept it. He hasn't had the best of seasons, though. I'm kind of surprised that he's got the job or offer, but we're not going to take this for granted. We're going to go ahead and accept it. But before we do that, I just want to say this is where the video is ending. So if you enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video when we are Barcelona manager.